Fun fact, I used to work there at Christmas. Let me tell you, it was the worst thing ever. I ended up leaving, crying, leaving, like literally in tears. Burst into tears and like stormed out. Like, because my manager was so mean to me, like I literally cried and left. But I, I was like one of the seasonal staff, I'm trying not to get in October. I was like a seasonal staff member and um, yeah, it was so stressful. There she is, I've reached the mothership. I'm gonna go to the food hall. It's been so long. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So hi guys. Oh, I look crazy. Um, so it's a bit later. I um, popped back to my auntie's, had a shower, put on some like comfy clothes. Um, I'm so tired, but I'm going to make myself stay up until like a good at like, like 10, 11, 10, 11. I've got to edit my video, my dolly mess for today. Like I've just... I'm kind of a mess to be honest like I should have really done this in advance but I'm not that organized um so yeah I'm just gonna eat my sandwich oh I was gonna show you my sandwich because oh, it's a bit squashed this this is my sandwich and it is it smells really good it's the no turkey feast um so it's roasted roasted soya protein with cranberry chutney and spinach on soft malted brown bread I'm so excited I saw people posting this on Instagram before I came and I was so excited to try it um, it, I'm really, it's my first Christmas sandwich of the year and I'm so excited I look so crusty but I'm just going to sit here and eat my sandwich and edit I literally can't believe that this exists it's kind of crazy no turkey feast suitable for vegans oh yeah this sandwich is so good it's I'm also having these they're the sea salt and balsamic vinegar hand cooked crisps from Marks and Spencers. I, that's the one thing I miss, I miss the most about London or the UK is Marks and Spencers. So, yeah. These crisps, if you not try them, are 
actually done with. Mm. So hi guys, it is Thursday and I got to London yesterday and I'm currently on my way to see one of my oldest friends, um, Jim, and I'm so excited to see him. It's been such a long time. He, like, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I've known him since we were like 11, like from the first day of secondary school. We've been really good friends, so I don't get to see him that much, so we're going to spend Oh, veggie prep. They've got like veggie prep here. Yeah. It used to be something else and I can't remember what it was. Um, um, I've heard about that but they don't have it in America yet. But I'm really excited. Um, so, a little bit late as always. But I'm just walking up to Shoreditch to meet him at Box Park. And um, yeah, I'm going to get some food. I know there's some really good vegan vendors there. Like, um, what's it called? Cook Daily? Good Cook Daily? daily something like that. And then what the pitta? I think they... I'm really excited to see him, it's been so long and it's, it's just changed so much like I've not been here in like a, just over a year and it changes so much here, it's insane um, but it's also exactly the same. An observation that I've made is that people make so much effort, like much more effort with their clothes and like their sense of fashion is just so much what is going on, <laughs> so much more sense, uh, so much more like effort with their fashion. Um, oh wait, do I turn here or here? Um, and then they do in New York, which is weird. In my head, I was always like, oh, New York could be like more, I don't know, but just even just walking down this road in Shoreditch, I'm like just staring at people's clothes, like oh, taking mental notes, I can like steal their, <laughs> steal their fashion. Um, it's just so nice that people watch here. Um, people, I mean, I'm not saying that people in New York aren't fashionable, because that's obviously not true, but you have to more go to like Soho or somewhere. People, the general American or like New Yorker doesn't make as much effort, I think, as the ge general Londoner. If you've been to both places, what do you reckon? Do you think that's true? Um, but yeah, I think that. Also, oh, people don't stare at you as much here. I feel like in New York, people stare at you and they could be day looks more. Here, people just go about the business and just like, yeah, cool. It's so interesting. But maybe in New York, we notice that I'm different. Oh, I can see Box Park. <laughs> So if you've ever, if you 
you ever are like looking for a good vegan chocolate and you're in the UK, go to Whole Foods and they sell it. I look so gross. This light is nice though. I need to. No, let's not go in October. But yeah. Today, oh my god, it's really loud. Today I got up really early, went to the doctors, went to the dentist, and then one second. I went to the doctors, went to the dentist, went to see my grandma. And then I went to the Temple of Satan, oh my god, it was amazing as always. And then I went to the British Library and tried to upload my video because internet in the UK is really I never noticed it before, like when I lived here, but the internet is painfully slow, like it's ridiculous. So I went to the British Library and managed to upload my video after like three days. <laughs> so I'm going to go into Whole Foods now and get some chocolate. vegan. I can't believe that this is vegan. Mm. Hi guys, it is Saturday today and I've just popped into Central. I've done pretty much nothing all day. I popped in Central to get some um, kids some baby clothes my friend Mel just had a baby and I'm going up to Birmingham to uh, visit them and I've not, I've not met him yet so I'm really excited but I've got him some really cute stuff from Gap and Gap by the way Gap are doing a sale and everything is like 60% off and so yeah but now I'm gonna pop into Top Shop real quick and then I'm literally just gonna go home and rest because um, I've got to be up early to travel to Birmingham and just cross the street delicious Liella pot and I've got her gift or the baby's gift and a little something for her but I'm really excited to see her um, my voice is so low I feel like I'm gonna get sick but I'm trying to just do everything I can do so I don't um, so yeah I'm really excited to go and see her I've not seen her for like at least a year and she's one of my very good friends so 
hopefully my voice will like be less deep by the time I see them because I don't want to like scare the baby or anything. I don't know where I'm going. So hi guys, it is Christmas Eve and we about are about to head out to Covent Garden and I just thought I'd show you my little outfit of the day, my OOTD. Um, yeah, my voice sounds ridiculous because I got here and just did not stop. I was going out, I was going to see friends, eating this, eating that, I wasn't eating any vegetables and then of course I got sick. But I thought I'd show you my OOTD. So my beret is from H&M. This big old coat that I'm, you, I'm sure you've seen a million times and you're sick of is so warm and it's from H&M. It's now sold out, but I'll link down below a nice alternative. This scarf I got from a couple of days ago from Topshop and it was only seven quid. It was only seven pounds, which I thought was a bargain. It was a steal. So it's kind of beige on this side and then pink on this side. I kind of just wanted the beige scarf, so I kind of wear it on this side, but anyway. This jumper, this roll neck jumper, which is really warm, but it's a bit scratchy, if I'm totally honest, is from H&M. And these leggings are from Forever 21. And yeah, I'm just going to wear my, like, Doc Martens, I think. But yeah, that's my OOTD. And I'm really excited to go out and see all the lights. It's going to be really nice and Christmassy in Covent Garden. I've not been there for a whole year. Hi, guys. Um, so we're just in Covent Garden, just because I thought it would be really nice to, like, hang out um, on Christmas Eve. It's just so Christmassy and pretty. Um, do you want to be in the video? No, not really. Dragged him into central London, um, and we're just gonna get some food and just like enjoy being. I don't know, it's just so nice. Covent Garden is just the best place to spend Christmas Eve or to be around Christmas. We can go to Nando's. There's one that way. Or we can get. I need to go to buy Chloe to get more mac and cheese. I'm gonna get a vegan mac and cheese for tomorrow because everyone's got a very good mac and cheese, and I really want some. See so now he's getting into it. He's got his little camera out. Yeah. City tree. Oh my god, look at this little car. Why is it so small? Why is <laughs> so we've just left Wagon Mama's. We had some food. There's a guy playing some John Legend. I'm rather sick of me already. It's like, why are so many pictures? He's over me already. But we're gonna go and try and find this vegan mac and cheese. And um, oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Name that song, Ed. Do you know that song? I can't speak, I can't sing. I sound so messed up. Okay, this sounds good. I'm not gonna say it, but look. This is a different version of the song I've not heard before. Yeah, buy Chloe to find the vegan mac and cheese. But I need, okay, it's fine actually, I'll stop vlogging. Okay, we're gonna go find some vegan mac and cheese and then some cakes and then. <laughs> So there's that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head home. So 
if I don't get to do it, say to you again, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a lovely like time with your family or whatever you're doing. I hope you have a really good time. And I'll see you after Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to one and all. Oh, oh, oh. when I go back to New York that I need to pick up like some vegan chocolate and some stuff and also I sound a bit raspy because I'm still a little bit sick and I could not sleep last night it was really annoying so I'm going straight to Whole Foods I'm walking to the station right now I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and I'm gonna get some like natural um, like cough syrup because I need it I really want to get better and then get some Vigo chocolate which is my favorite vegan chocolate ever and I also want to pop into Marks and Spencers to get something a bit embarrassing, which is knickers or like pants. I guess Americans call them pants, like undies, because there's nothing like Marks and Spencers like pants. <laughs> pants in America are just pants, basically. Um, and so I'm really excited to get some because I'm, I'm, I need I need some nice like I got some last year, but I need some like new ones. So I'm gonna get those things and I'm gonna head back, um, and then yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 